guys and welcome here in today's video i'm gonna be sharing with you all what and how to teach your five year old in math at home yes we are just gonna be talking about math so that you have enough topics which you can you know cover in next one to two months all these topics are uh, i'm gonna be sharing over here i have taught through play to my five year old and all these activities i'm gonna be sharing with you all as well so that you can also teach through play it's very easy to teach complicated topics even through play and once they know the concept then you can move towards the worksheet and in this video i have also covered worksheets and the activities that i'm going to be sharing are the part of six month pdf subscription just in case if you're not familiar with it it is an activity based learning subscription set that i'm offering to all of you and uh, it is started in december month so each month I'm covering seven subjects, English, Math, Science, Social Science, GK, Art and Craft and Hindi. Just in case if you're not teaching Hindi, you're going to skip that part, but you will still have six subjects every single month. And each month I'll, I cover one to two topics on each subject. So you get 12 to 14, 15, 16, sometimes even 20 activity sets. And I surprise you with uh, extra brain boosting activities inside. And whenever you decide to purchase the six month PDF subscription, you will still get all the copies from December 2021 till May 2022 because uh, some of the topics have been included in a sequence in every month. So I do not want any child to be confused and it is in a sequence so that it's, it's easy for parents to teach and kids to understand. Link is in the description box just in case if you want to check out, get it for your kids because hundreds of you have already got it for your kids and they are loving it. I really like to see their images and you know videos on instagram dms if you have any question you feel free to ask me over here in the comment section or you can just dm me on instagram i would love to help you out but without further ado let's get into the station and let me show you how you can teach all these topics the very first activity of a skip counting is the puzzle set and these are from the December month. That's why the scenes are pretty wintry, you know, and it's snowy. So yeah, uh, I highly recommend you to only teach the skip counting of 10 first and then of, then of 5 and then of 2. Otherwise, it gets a little complicated to understand. So through this uh, activity set of puzzle, you can just ask your child to, uh, you know, complete the scene. And then together you can read the number, uh, like the skip counting numbers and, you know, teach that way. Once they uh, have done it like handful of time, then you can actually have a chart which have numbers from 1 to 100 and uh, you would just have to mark the numbers uh, like a skip counting of 10, one, like 10 to 100 and you know, uh, make them read uh, like a couple of times every single day for a week or two and they will be able to understand that way or maybe able to, you know, mug up that way. And over here, I have the skip counting of 5 as well and similarly of 2. These type of worksheets have been included in the set. However, now I'm going to be sharing with you all the DIY worksheets which you can make. The very first one is the skip counting of two. Over here, I have made a number line from uh, like 1 to 28. And I have just done one over here of a skip counting of two, like two and then four. And then we will have to, you know, now uh, make uh, the curves. What will be the next like six and then to eight and ten like this. And using this number line, she can also fill up the caterpillar uh, and it says complete the skip counting of two over here. So it is really fun. The next one says a stamp only on the skip counting of five. So over here, I have written number from one to 50 and we will just have to stamp on the skip counting of five. If you do not have a stamp, you can just use a circling or, you know, crossing these kind of uh, activity. The next one is, is completing the skip counting by five over here instead of keeping the box completely blank i have written one number of the you know two digits for example it is like five then it will be 10 so nirvi will have to write zero so it becomes 10 over here it will be 15 so she'll have to write one so this way it is little complicated but it's still doable for any five year old the next uh, worksheet is the skip counting of 10 over here the uh, bee has to go to honey so how she will go she'll go uh, with the skip counting of 10 like a nervy will have to just join the numbers 10 20 30 40 um then 50 60 70 80 90 
80, 90, 100 and she'll go to her knees. So this way it is like puzzle, very interesting. You can make these kind of more activities to just write down the number. However, a skip counting of 10 is very easy. You do not have to put, to put too much effort on making those worksheets of writing practice. The next topic is about the ordinal number. So first I had uh, made this print tables from a uh, print table <laughs> of cardinal number and ordinal number from 1 to 15th in one page and I have for, uh, till 30th actually. Uh, so um, this in this over here I have written also the names how they are pronounced um, so that it's easier to teach and uh, oh, I had also uh, explained to her these are just the numbers but these are the position for example when we do the racing uh, if you come first we say oh Nirvi was first and mommy was second papa was third these kind of positions uh, these kind of numbers are called as positions then we did the practice through the play using uh, stones if you have pom-poms spoons whatever handy as a, a you know prop that you can use to teach is fine so over here i have taken you know um the basket over here she and i asked her to just give me the third stone first second third give me the ninth stone first second third is gone fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth oh, like this you can also use the stickers in the stickers you can write the numbers and you can give your child you know um the stones or whatever um all jumbled so that your child will have to find out the particular position and stick it to this so yeah this is how we did and i always keep these print tables on the oral uh you know learning wall circle time wall whatever you want to call it so that whenever nirvi is doing worksheet if just in case she gets confused she can use this as a guide but um yeah once they know the concept till 30th they can actually tell you the position of any number because after 20th it gets a little tricky because after 20th it is called as 21st 22nd 23rd so if you teach from 1 to 30th it is awesome because after that it gets a little easier this is the activity again from the set uh, it was all jumbled and cut and paste activity uh, we i have added more activity and worksheets of this topic which i'm not going to be sharing over here it is secret for only the people those who are going to be purchasing but it is it was so much easier right after you know teaching her through play and through this we did this activity and in just one day she was able to do this and now i'm going to be sharing with you all some tiara worksheets of ordinal number the very first one which letter is there in the word according to the position over here i have written the positions like the ordinal number she um, has to find which letter is in the particular position and have to write over here the second one is uh, says the add the extension to make below cardinal number to ordinal so i had just written numbers from 11 to 36 and over here i have given like st nd rd third so she'll have to find what will we add to? so 11 will be 11th so she had to write write th for example 21st st or she will she can you know make the word but still i had written over here just so that she feel comfortable in doing this in the very beginning you can also give this worksheet which says color the object red according to the position if it is saying fifth position you still have to color the fifth position leaf red and other she can color whatever uh, she wants the next activity idea is of making a number using tens or uh, you know adding number subtracting number using tens and ones these are the printables again from the uh, subscription set um, so these printables i have actually laminated and sticked on the um, you know wooden stick uh, barbecue stick i mean so using this page your child will have to make the number using tens and ones for example if it says 32 so how we make 30 10 20 30 and for two we will use one block and two block so just 32 so this is how they can learn making numbers using tens and ones and with that you they can also do the addition actually if you can ask them to you know just add the numbers like 10 then again one more 10 and then three one two three what it will be 10 23 23 so they will have to write number 23 
so it is very very interesting game to teach to your child and this way they can also learn adding numbers very fast and also of two digits and even three digits this particular activity is in the fab month set and in march i have extended this activity with few more worksheets and also with the hundreds so it is epic my child loved it so much okay so the next topic is a word problem doing word problem so these are only of addition uh, in the starting uh, when we teach addition we do these kind of uh, you know images or um, object counting so that they know the understanding of adding and subtracting in the, uh, these are the printables from my math workbook but yeah these were really fun to do in the starting this is how we teach but when we start with the prob uh, word problem we do the same kind of activity but in the words so i start uh, i started with a very uh, simple one and we uh, as you can see over here we only use 10 spoons so that it's easier to do the math you can use any other prop if you want but i knew that a spoon is something that we all have in the household at least 10 we always have so um for example we have 10 uh, we have four spoons and if i add one more now how many it will be so it was very fun this is the same thing that you can do with the other prop and if you want you can also do the subtracting thing with using props in the word problem similarly this one is the advanced version of doing a word problem using a dice over here what your child will have to do is use a dice uh, to uh, you know just write the numbers and do the math for example sam has whatever number will come in the dice she'll write here and if i give her again she'll roll the dice and write the number and then now she, uh, sam has how many uh, she will just do the math over here or with the fingers and she can write over here same over here but with the addition it is very easy in the subtraction you will have to keep in mind that uh, you're giving a bigger number than a dice in a dice you only find six numbers so you can just write seven or ten whatever so for example gary has ten cows but he lost in the dice uh, whatever number comes she can write over here and do the subtraction so just keep in mind with the subtraction you have to be a little smarter but with the sum it is gonna be really easy okay so the next topic is clock i have made a whole video on this particular topic on how to teach clock i'll link it down below for you guys to check out because um it is very easy to teach clock actually uh, this is the clock we own which comes with these kind of cards which you can hang in over here and see the timings in case you do not want to spend any money i have actually shared the print table through which you can make your own diy clock at home um with this in the uh, six month pdf subscription set and also a few more worksheets however in this video i'm gonna be sharing with you all some diy clock worksheet ideas the very first uh, worksheet is move the clock hand as it says and then write the uh, time. So for example, if it says uh, big hand goes on 50, that means this one, it goes on 50 and the small hand goes on 1. So the timing is 150. The so child will have to write 150. Similarly, uh, they will have to move the hands over here and write the number. So it is a good practice of writing time, how we write with the colon. The next one is match the timing with what it is called as for example it is 12 o'clock so a uh, child will have to find out where it is written and match the next one is use the clock and write the timings for example it says quarter past one so child will have to um, say it quarter past so for quarter past the big hand goes on 15 and for uh, one, it will be on the one. So your child will have to write one fifteen. Half past nine, half past. How we do half past? It should be always with 30. So it will be 9.30. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If yes, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. This is a part of a very big series, which is homeschooling. Be sure to check out that playlist. A link is again in the description box. In that playlist, you will find tons of videos on how to teach a particular topic or what to teach. To your two year old three four five year old kids and our routine homeschooling routine and so many other topics i hope you will enjoy and again if you want a six month pdf subscription for your child be sure to check out the link in the description box if you watched me for the first time i'm pragya i make videos related to homeschooling parenting and lifestyle and if you like these kind of videos be sure to subscribe hit the bell icon i will see you guys in my next one bye